The surprise announcement came early this afternoon. MGM Resorts Chairman and CEO Jim Murren will step down prior to the expiration of his contract. In a press release on MGM's website, Murren was quoted as saying, Leading MGM Resorts has been the most rewarding and fulfilling experience in my professional career, adding, Until my successor is named, I will continue to lead the company just as I always have and will remain focused on our strategy and am fully committed to supporting a seamless transition. Murren elaborated during a conference call early this afternoon as MGM rolled out its quarterly report to investors. This was not a decision that I made lightly. However, I know the company is well positioned. Our balance sheet is strong. We have an efficient operating model and a powerful strategic plan. Our growth areas of sports betting, Japan and entertainment have never looked better. Our bench of management talent is deep. Among his accomplishments at the helm of MGM Resorts, providing oversight on the construction of the massive city center project, and he helped spearhead the $400 million T-Mobile Arena project. We have a professional sports team here. I believe we'll have a hockey team that we can all root for. He talked about the future of the city in this 2015 interview with our Jeff Gillen. I'm feeling really uh, very constructive, very bullish, very excited about Las Vegas. We're the largest employer in the state, so we feel very strongly connected to a community that is growing. Murren is also getting credit for helping MGM Resorts maintain its place as a leader in diversity and reducing its consumption of energy. And I had a chance in 2009 to sit down with Jim Murren for an extended interview. He told me that MGM Resorts was looking for ways to bring visitors back that went beyond gaming. That's why he was also instrumental in helping to bring the Raiders to Las Vegas, as well as the WNBA's Aces. No reason given by Jim Murren or MGM Resorts as to why the 58-year-old has decided to step down. MGM has, however, been restructuring its management over the past year, but... Uh, Again, we uh, don't have an official reason at this point as to why. You know something, back in 2009, even back then, he said there's no reason we shouldn't have an NBA franchise in Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, his decision to be t t -Mo build T-Mobile, yep. and then the Knights come. Got a open lot the door. Yeah. Well, open the door. And then he got to deal with, sadly, the MGM angle of the Las Vegas massacre down on the Strip, yeah. too. True. So,